Okay. She's four. And so obviously you've yeah. guys treated them and then she's been okay and changed the food and yeah. Okay. Cause I mean, sometimes too, she still could have some, so it's good to know that she's had <laughs> issues in the past with it. I mean, I believe it based on her temperament of just being a little watchy and, uh, I mean, it's a new place too, but when they uh, are a little not dramatic about things, but when it's a big baby, sometimes it's easy to get ulcery, huh? So I just gave her some station there and uh, pulled her blood, so I'll let her get a little sleepy. And then, I know, I know, and then I'll get these running real quick. It can, huh? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That was a little magic to it. Yeah, I didn't do good. He taught, he learned the habit of every time he hears a person, he talks. He's yes, because he, I mean, he did that back there, too, with us, like, I mean, when we were giving him meds, but I think he just was so lonely back in ISO, but yeah, he definitely, he has a buddy now, so they might. I saw they were running, yeah, that's really cute. He looks good on what I've seen, and Dr. Davis, everyone said that he's been, so they went out there, what, not too long ago? Yes. So, okay, you're probably not going to like it, but it's going to be okay, right? Okay, just stay sleepy. That's amazing. So they're really good. She probably because she's well, she's young still, and sometimes when they're like babies, we like tube in them because they have no idea. Like yeah. it hits them and they're like, "Oh, I need to swallow." Versus when they get adults, they're like, "No, I'm gonna be naughty and not swallow." It. But good girl. That's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Keep, you, keep your head over here, silly goose. She was, sometimes if they get a little fluidy, diarrhea-esque, or, you know, it's crampy. And so that could be too every time she, which, again, we'll see kind of when I... She was making that grunt noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She says, I only have a 28. I was like, all the hands are going to be here. When she had ulcers, did you guys, she get scoped? Yeah. I brought her in 
the night before because she forwarded it at that time so we couldn't guarantee okay. yeah. like she wanted to pay up to get some hay or something. Yeah. And they need to go through the next morning and she would get direct later that day. That was my plan. Yes. Yeah, I think he was just there doing Layla's teeth actually. I think it was Layla's teeth. No, it's Dixie's teeth. mucosa because I can wreck it but yeah I bet that's what it is I was like it feels like a peep marshmallow so probably what <laughs> I was like what the heck is that sometimes if they are ulcery and their mucosa the stomach's not strong like this tube is not very sharp it's round as you can see down there but if their mucosa is messed up essentially it can, that's why I was making sure, but it's not because it should not fall apart like that. So, I know her daddy had to start being on it because his dad was so extremely sensitive. Mm -hmm. He has to take daily pillows for the rest of his life. Yeah. yeah so, you might be next. She might, right? Yes, that's the. So, I think, so this stuff where the color is a little darker, yeah. I think that's from last night. Okay. Versus like right off the bat, it was green and yeah. happy. So doesn't smell bad. I was you know okay. trying to smell because if it's been there for days, it smells horrible. Yeah. So at least it's not bad. I mean, it was so good. I was just thinking that exact same thing. It's like it's not a big odor. No. I expected a big odor, I guess. Yeah, luckily, honestly, it's... Yeah. It does when it... It can be very, very stinky, like the ones that are not good. Um, it smells so bad, but this just smells like fresh, fresh stuff, so... Fresh stuff, yeah. And she eats alfalfa. In the mornings. In the mornings. Like half a plate, yeah. Okay. I know. You're being very good. And the ration dogs are. Okay. Roll green. Probably good for you. <laughs> That's when we switched. When Cleta switched over to the rationer, mm -hmm. we just switched her and her mom. Too. Yeah. That's why the weather had to switch. Why is it here on a Sunday? I don't know. But the weather is very bad to go. Yeah. Let's get some of that out. Yeah. You don't need that. Well, you want to fall all night. Yes, I've been on since Saturday morning, or you know, we're open, so I worked Saturday afternoon, or morning, and then I've been on call. Luckily, I didn't have too much yesterday, so. Yeah, that's good. Usually one day is calm, and then the next day is not, so today gets to not be calm. <laughs> have you all had a lot of call lately? Yes, okay. we've had... So my husband is the intern this year, Dr. Jake. Yes. I don't know if you've met him yet, but I um, well, it's good. Uh, <laughs> but he last Sunday he had like six emergencies, and I think four of them were college. So, and then few, yeah, a few we've had after hours this week have been college. So 
that time of year with the weather and did they survive um one of them did not it was an old like 27 30 year old horse so and it was it was bad uh, like it needed surgery but it was that was not an option because it was one of our employees horses but Yes. It is, I know. And it still doesn't guarantee that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you? Did you hear that little, did you hear that little bit? That's some gas that's on her stomach, so. Yeah. So, her stomach, maybe. For release and stuff, everything's kind of decompressing, which is good. I know, I know. I know. You need the answer. Oh, it's okay. okay. They'll leave a voicemail if it's. Plus, the new thing you can see what they say on voicemail. So I know, I love that. It's cool because I'm like. Most of this is at least a lot, like you can see it's clear, so that part is good. Like I'm getting towards the end. That's good. Okay, she's cleared out, which that's usually a good, good sign. One more thing. I think that's her. The marker. Yeah. She's hiding it. There. Oh, oh, there. there. <laughs> I need to get take get some more band of these before I go, so I have some. That's good. And they're like half of two. Mm hmm. It's always good to have. It's got a gap, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. Nothing too scary there. She's got a little bit of gas, or I mean, more than normal, um, on her stomach. Not a ton of other things on there, but again, that is older feed. Um, so that, I mean, that could be making her feel that uncomfortable. It is, I mean, they get stomach aches and they can't vomit. So yeah. hopefully it's just that, but I'm gonna put stuff on her, some oil and some electrolytes and then, I'll rectal her. Um, I'll take a look at her blood work, make sure there's nothing crazy on there. But hopefully she's just being a little dramatic. And but again, if there's gas, if she needs to throw up. I mean, she can't. So, um, which is fine. That's what we're here for. I know. The hard part is there's so many, uh, so many colics or types of colics, so it's never extremely easy, but
Is there any any coming out of her nose? Is it just right, right. Yeah, that's just what I was wondering. Yeah. which would make sense why I could hear things more forward because it presses on the liver. So that's probably what's happening. Other times, um, I don't think it's this case, but they can have a liver infection. She, her white blood cells are beautiful. Lymphocytes are beautiful. Um, no other sign of infection that I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. But it's, yeah, she probably is displaced, which I'm See if I can feel normal things. If I can't feel anything, it's too far. Then yes, she is. But um, that's probably what we're looking at. Versus, so just place. How is that fixed? So if it's bad enough, surgery is the only way to fix it. But horses can also fix it on their own. So even just getting, sometimes their stomachs are too full. And so getting that gas off and releasing some of that makes it kind of fall back to place. Another thing with her is that if everything is so far forward, her stomach's getting closed off. And so what I got may not be everything because it's, I can't get it out, if that makes sense. So I'm going to keep her if that's okay, because I would like to watch her because if she does get uncomfortable, I will tube her again and then probably run fluids because that, there's CMPK, so calcium, magnesium, phosphate, and um, potassium helps to stimulate some gut movement, and so we can move it in the right direction, like literally. literally so, um, or else, you know, horses they have to figure it out on their own, which is not good. 
it's it's okay. I mean, like it happens. If if they were extremely extremely displaced, and there's like if I get in here and there's a bunch of gas and everything, then that's concerning because I need to get rid of that gas so that things can go normal or get back to where they are. But all right, see me. I'm back here. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're okay, baby. I know, I know, but this is, I need to. It's just back here. It's okay. I know, it's not fine. I have a little arm, at least. It's not Dr. Davis. <laughs> okay. It's like you're violating me. That's true. All right, that looks really good. And that was right in her rectum, so. That part's good. I know that's not fun. I know you have a lot of poop in here, which is great, but then I can't feel anything but poop. Yeah, you're being awesome, girl. She's gonna make you feel better. I know. So. I am. You know, big baby. Don't believe it. This is the big baby. Yes. It's funny when she gets a scratch and it's bleeding. She holds it up like. No. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just a scratch. <laughs> you don't know that. So all of that looks really good and not like it's been sitting there for a while. Um, if it was, there'd be nasty mucus on it. So, all right, sweetie, I have to I have to feel inside, okay? Okay. Do you want to look at me? Do you want to look at me? Okay. So she doesn't have too much gas in there. Her bladder is very full, which is fine. But I can feel some normal fecal balls as well. Again, everything's a little pushed forward. Right. Um, but I don't feel, so sometimes we'll feel tight bands, meaning things are being stretched where they're not supposed to, and that's really tight, and it's not good. Um, like this is, I'm feeling normal stuff, but again, it's at the tip of my fingertips. So nothing scary from what I can feel. I'm having to go pretty far forward to feel stuff. And again, I'm not like, nothing feels too out of place. Her only thing that's, which is why I'm taking a second, is her, her spleen, which normally rests over here. Yeah. Um, is a little more midline, like a little here instead of being over here. Again, just meaning she's displaced, but it's nothing. I mean, obviously being displaced is not normal. Yeah. But it's hard to tell how things will move or how things will progress without watching her, you know, cause like if she was, I mean, at the station I gave her, again, xylosine, which wears off, the tour is a little bit of pavements, but not super. So the fact she's not going down right now, that's all good. Those are all good signs. Um, but I won't, again, I'm not feeling anything too crazy, but I can only feel here and I can feel the tip of normal stuff but everything should be kind of back here. Right. 
So it's kind of a wait and see sort of thing, um, which is why I want to keep her because then I can alter my, my thing. So nothing, nothing super scary, but she's not normal, if that makes sense. So um, we're kind of like in the middle of bad, bad, good. She's just, she's hanging out. So we'll take that and we'll do what we need to do to adjust for that. But um, it'll kind of just be waiting and see for pain management. Um, if she does get very uncomfortable, I mean, is surgery an option? We wouldn't, I don't think we can do it here because Dr. Davis is out of town. He might be, he might be back. So that's another, I'm just, we're not at that point, but I'm just throwing it out there. Um, because you know, some things where she is displaced, they can go in and fix it, obviously, but. Depends on the cost. Right. Your insurance way. Well, I don't want to get your tail dirty. I actually like, well, just washed it, made it all nice and white. I don't know. Today. And now there's some poo on it, huh? I'm sorry, baby, huh? Oops, sorry, that was loud, huh? Do we want to get the poop off her legs so you can see if she, yes, or would can. you be able to see? Either way, yes, right. but. I know, I'm sorry. I know. Good, that's kind of cold. There you go. Yes, because then too, if, if, so all of that looks normal feces, I'm happy with that. That's good. But again, if things get moved around and then diarrhea, you know, is a thing, then sometimes again, things are just getting squished. But, but that looks really good, not too, not too uh, dry or anything like that. So. Huh. What are you doing? Are you sad? Your name's Randy. I figured it. This had to have been, had to have been her. Oh, baby. Okay. That makes sense. And do you, do you, do you still have her mom? And who, who's her mom? Shelby. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. She's just black and white paint, right? Cletus is her dad. No way. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, you look like your daddy. She acts like her dad. She wants to be her dad. Oh. She's a pop of the herd and she wants to be pop. Oh my gosh. Whatever daddy does, she does. Oh my gosh. She I mean. Okay, I need to clean you. <laughs> we have a, a jolly ball here, so. I just gotta locate because we have a bunch of yeah, young, young uh, horses that are now. Yeah, she is. She's a novice. I could, I could see that. Oh, I know, I know. It's the worst. <laughs> I know. I'm so rude. I was like, you're so mean. You are. I know. The drama. The drama. So rude of me. You just got a bath that's dirty. I was just saying, you're not that dirty. So I don't have to scrub you as, as long as some of the other horses that are. Some that roll around in the mud and dirt get real dirty. So. She did. She had it all in her mirror and like that, that time. <laughs> that's rude. Why'd you do that? I think I could eat your main old white again. So. Oh my god. I was going to say, it was very. Kind of sick and put the shampoo for a Yep, while. yep. Yeah, her eyes remind me of Cletus a lot, so that makes a lot of sense now. That makes sense. Very cool, we have the whole, the whole family. I didn't realize that. I know, drama. Michelle, they're like, we're moving, you're on baby watch, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. And yeah, then that we... feels better. So that's how we got Shelby in there. Oh, we okay. went home for lunch, came back, Layla was on the ground. <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to be able to see one before. Oh my goodness. It hasn't happened yet. Nope. Even with cameras. 
Yeah, I know. I was gonna say. Like, I don't like it, but I don't know what else to do about it. Yes. I think it's somewhere. I think it's in barn three, but I'll find it for you. Her dad plays with toys too. Anything he can find to play with. You guys are silly. You guys are silly. You're silly. Good girl. I know. You are being very, very, very good boys. Better than some big adults. Good girl. I can see it in her eyes that she's like, hmm. Yeah, no, she's like, I really want to not, but I want to feel better. Yeah. You're smart. She's, she's yes, too smart for her own good. I she, believe that. We had to change the locks because she was opening <gasps> barn doors and her stall door to let her out and opening paddock. Like past our gates to yes. let everyone be together. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone yeah. should be <laughs> together. So we had to change it all. You're crazy. Like I like giving mom heart attacks. Mm, yep. Good job, sweetie. You're doing very good. So does that keep it in place? Yes. Are you gonna? wrap it too so no. you can't pull it out no most so okay. babies yes kind of like how mad is yeah. every little fold that we put you no matter the age of them because they're laying down all the time and they're on the ground and yeah. they're naughty so um but with adults we don't because they most of the time don't mess with it so okay if they do then yes we we just again similar thing we put okay. the whole thing over there but Shouldn't have to because you should be a big adult. And you can't really reach it. Yes, which helps versus, you know, babies are agile and bend their necks and their nurse, like, they're just doing a lot more movements than yeah. these guys, but. Okay. Looks pretty cool there, Layla. <laughs> He's a good girl. So. All right, I'm going to put her in her stall. I got to get, takes me a bit to get all the fluids ready, but. Okay. Um, and then I will run them to her and just let her hang out. And if she gets uncomfortable, I'll, again, kind of rework her up and see what has changed or what hasn't. And then I'll, you know, keep you updated okay. throughout the day. So um, if things go crazy and I have a lot, I mean, I'm always here watching her, but no news is good news. Yes. So, okay. and no matter what, I will update you tonight, like around treatment time, around That's four right. o'clock. So, um, but I probably will around you know, noon and stuff like that, just to say, yeah, she's just hanging out. But other than that, anything crazy, I will call, obviously. And yes, for sure. So, but yeah, so that will be it. I'm just a baby, or a yearling, but she is very pretty. Oh, you're gonna, well, that's <laughs> good. I'm glad that she's checking for food, but you can't have any, I'm sorry. But that's good, I'm glad she's 